Um, we're in the middle of trying to get the glue up off the floors so that I can start tiling the bathroom floors. And I, as you can tell by how I look, it's a lot of work. It's kind of exhausting. Even though I have a solvent that's supposed to help break it up, it's still, I, there's a lot of scraping to be done. And I'm trying to decide what is actually like good enough. <laughs> I think I mentioned before that I'm a little bit of a hack, so um, I'm really getting ready to be done with this. Tonight I'm like committed to try to make this, be, finish this up tonight so you can be ready. Today's Tuesday. I don't even know what day of the week it is now. My mom showed up today to start helping. We had a sitter for part of the day. Now she's taking the kids um, and put them to bed for me and my husband's working on the carpet. So anyway. Uh, just, I'm trying to finish this up, but I'm thinking I might try to find like some sort of, something stronger than a sander, like an edge grinder or something. I'm gonna go talk to Heath and see if he has some suggestions or if we own anything like that, because I i don't really want to drive to Home Depot right now, because we're like 20 minutes outside of town. So every time I drive somewhere, it takes a little bit of time. And I'm getting tired of going to the Home Depot, although I love the smell of Home Depot. It has a very, um, nostalgic effect on me because of my childhood, i getting to a point where I've had enough of that nostalgia. So, <laughs> um, where my mom came through and cleaned everything, of course she bleach mopped the floors for me so that I would feel more comfortable that the home is clean. We've been starting to reinstall the light fixtures and take down the tank and masking. Um, that's kind of simultaneous with, you know, letting the solvent sit on the ground. So, anyway, that's where we are right now. It's, I just like, if I can just get through tonight and get stuff ready. Tomorrow we're gonna do a little bit more cleaning and some packing, because actually sitter situations haven't worked out. So, um, I do have a sitter for Thursday and Friday to finish the week out and for Saturday, but just not tomorrow. Multiple people actually didn't work out. So. We decided to roll with it and embrace it because maybe I need to spend some time in the house packing the other house so that we could actually move this weekend. We need to be out the Saturday so that the cleaning crews can come in next week and the carpets can be clean and we can turn the house back over to the property management company. So we this Saturday is really like our out day, which is why we started storing stuff in this front room, which is right now I have very little furniture that will permanently be in that room. So it's a good place to stick stuff because we're not going to use it a lot initially. Um, and then we are, so, you know, this bathroom floor is becoming a critical issue though because we need to be able to use our toilets. And now they're not as sticky as they were, but they were at a point where like you couldn't walk on them because it was so sticky when I first pulled the tile up and had the glue down. Um, so anyway, these are doing better. We have linoleum in the guest suite out on the side of the garage. And we did go ahead and paint, oh, paint, but uh, don't, we didn't cover it when we painted, sorry because I assumed I was gonna pull it out. And I was telling my mom, this is why I'm not really the best person to be doing these kinds of things, because I don't think things through very well. So, of course, I tell Heath, no, don't worry about masking that off, because I'm gonna pull it out. And then, the next day, I realized, hmm, maybe I don't wanna pull the linoleum out, because you can actually tile on top of that, and I think I'm gonna go for that. So now, of course, I have to sand the linoleum, which will still be easier than trying to get the linoleum out. Um, so, Anyway, that's kind of where we are with the bathroom floors, and the guest bathroom is the functioning bathroom right now. Of course, it doesn't have a sink, but uh, it does in the garage, it's just not installed. So the kitchen sink's doing a lot of, um, seeing a lot of traffic right now. Anyways, um, one sweet fun thing tonight is that I think our first rainstorm of the season has come for the monsoon season. I don't think it was a full on monsoon. And it wasn't the right time of day, but it smells amazing. If you've ever been in the desert when it rains, it has that wonderful, clean, fresh smell. We have the swamp cooler going, so it's just bringing the smell in. It's awesome. So at least it's refreshing. There's a nice, cool breeze. And I'm really feeling excited to live out here. Also, tomorrow I'll have the girls give you a tour of our bird's nest that we found. Baby birds. I guess the baby bird opened its eyes today. And even when I'm finding bird mouse poop places in the house that I have to clean or in the garage and I'm grossed out, my kids finding these birds and wanting to journal about them and to keep track of them every day to chart their progress, that's why I moved out here 
that's what I want for my kids. I want that nature study happening naturally in our backyard because mom doesn't get them out as often as we would like to to the mountains or to trails and they can do it here. We have almost three acres and there's plenty of wildlife. We've already seen a coyote going through the yard. We've had a road runner. We've seen lots of beautiful birds and butterflies and then we also have these baby birds and nests. Um, we found an eggshell tonight. They're starting to create an area where we're going to keep those found objects. So it, it's worth it. And with that um, drive, jab at motivation for myself, I will now go back to scrubbing. <laughs>